Hey guys, uh, I'm going to show you right now how to uh, edit a collision file of a car. Um, let me just explain right now that um, vehicle collision files are built into the car's DFF so they don't have an external uh, collision file like map objects. So um, we're going to open the collision IO and we're going to go open collision file and we're going to select DFF from the file type drop down box. Um, now we're going to select your car, like hustler.dff for example, and um, it's uh, imported our car's collision file. Uh, we got this bounding sphere, which we can delete. This sphere here, we can delete that. Uh, we got a bounding box, we can delete that as well and the other things are other important parts. Um, what we've got here is we've got spheres, other spheres which tell the game where objects are on the car like doors, windows, things like that. Here we've got a shadow mesh um, which produces shadows, dynamic shadows in the game and we've also under all this right there got a uh, collision model right here um, what we're going to do is we're going to edit these and we're going to uh, we're going to edit one of them out and have fun with it um, we've got isolate selection on the um, collision model which is cm underscore whatever the name of your car is and um, we're going to select it we're going to go into the modify panel uh, we're in editable mesh right now and we'll select uh, vert vertice mode. Um, just because um, we put guns on top of the car, I'm going to move these top vertices up further. And um, that's about all we need to do. You can do anything you like. Um, I probably don't want to modify this too much. But you could even create a box over here. A native box, a primitive box. I mean, um, convert it, to, convert it to an editable patch, and then convert it to an editable mesh. And then well, I'm going to shrink this a bit because I made it a bit too big. And then put it wherever you like on the model. That's just an example. Though. I'm not going to do that. But then, of course, remember to. Um, attach it to the model like for example put it there click on the collision mesh click on attach attach it to that and then it's attached but uh, I'm not going to do that it's just for an example if you do want to do that um, so that's all I, all I wanted to do move that up a bit the top bit up now we're going to go uh, exit uh, isolation mode when it, um, unhide all and you can change the uh, the shadow mesh just like you did with the collision mesh but I'm not going to bother with it select everything uh, go into the utilities panel open the collision IO um, now we're going to go select the collision mesh which is this one here which we just modified then select the shadow mesh which is this one here the black one and now we're going to call it collision collision and then go export and export it where you like I'm going to call it hustler.call make sure it's a dot call extension now we're going to go reset don't save your changes what well, you can if you like doesn't matter though going to go into the tool utilities DF, DFFIO and import your car I'm going to go here and here now that your car is imported um, select everything um, go to the export DFF section and where it says select call base the file type menu select dot call 
and then open your collision file. Um, now go export DFF, make hustler.dff. Sorry, uh, let's save it ever, wherever. Replace whatever you have if you want, and there you go. You've got a modified collision for your car. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again sometime.